At least don't overdo it yet. I explained to you a couple of weeks ago the importance of the various instruments in the orchestra, such as the fiddle, the trombone, the bass fiddle, and so on and so forth. I have yet to tell you about one of the most important instruments, which is the baton, the little stick with which the conductor starts and finishes a piece of music, and once in a while continues during the selection of chords. A baton is made out of a tree. Now, I would be silly to wave a tree in front of the audience, of course, <laughs> or the orchestra. So uh, we cut it down, of course, to a little piece like this from a big tree. <laughs> OK, Doc, here it is. <laughs> it always works. <laughs> now, I'd like to show you a couple of more batons which are very important. Now here, for instance, is a baton I use for long playing records. <laughs> very interesting. Now, here is a baton which is used by Phil Spitalny <laughs> and his all girl orchestra. Thank you very much. Next, I have a baton that we use for outdoor concerts in the summertime. The baton looks like this. Now, the most important thing, of course, for the orchestra, when they follow the, uh, the orchestra leader, is to begin a piece of music all together. That is very important. It is almost as important as a race that the horses start at the same time. Now, in order to start the orchestra right, I have constructed a baton that looks like this. <laughs> and in order to be safe, I have two batons like this. I have also uh, constructed a little musical number, which is the first time you will hear this kind of number. It is for baton and orchestra alone. We will play it for you now. <laughs> Ready? 